Hey, what's going on? This is a message to Jeffrey Like. Y'all know who Jeffrey Like is? He is the professor. He ever went to college. And you had to go to the professor class. Do you know what I mean when I say professor? That's Jeffrey Like. Jeffrey Like is the guy who used to work for Snyder for years upon years, son. Godfather Snyder. He's all on Snyder pictures and everything. He was a um, great guy. Um, first off, saw your live feed. Um, there's no way around Baldwin. This is how I look at Baldwin because, you know, I'm, I'm getting thin up there myself if it ain't already gone. To me, it's thin. All right. I can't see, I, I can't see, so all, the, the sun is too bright on the phone. The reason why people go bald is because they're too smart. You got so much knowledge up there that it pushed out the hair follicles to make room. That's why, that, that's, that's my excuse for, for me going bald. That I'm so intelligent that the hair follicles was taking up way too much room on the top of my head. You know, I need my scalp to expand in order to hold all this knowledge. Anyway. I wanted to ask Jeffrey like a few questions. But every time I, I shut down for 10, I go to sleep. <laughs> so the best way for me to do it is right now. While I'm rolling. Yes, I am driving. Feel free to call Swift or Interstate, whichever company you think I, I, I'm at, and tell them that I'm driving while filming myself. With one finger in my ear hole. Um, all right, Jeffrey like left Snyder because of the um, uh, collision system mitigation, whatever thing that they had, stating that um, by 2018, you gotta change it out. Well, I guess he already, after reading that in the fine print that he talked about in his live feed, he went and became an owner op, an actual owner op. Meaning he has his uh, his numbers, you know? So, um, here's the questions that I have for you, Jeffrey. Like, one, any particular reason why you went dry and not reefer? Two, what was it when you, when you were looking for a trailer, when you were looking for a trailer, what was it that, uh, that you would look for? Also, uh, the particular brand of trailer that you got, I'm not familiar with. I, I, I saw some of the letters and the black thing on the back of your uh, trailer. But I'd definitely like to know what did it take for you to get a trailer? Did you just go get the money? Uh, what about like registration and um, different things you need for the trailer? Uh, as far as the numbers go, what did you have to do to get all your numbers? There's usually like three or four numbers you gotta get. You gotta get your DOT, your MC. Me, I would have to get a CA, which I think is free. Um, what's all the numbers? Are you gonna get the, K, the KYU number and this number and that number? What did you do and how did you go about getting those? How much did it cost you? Um, you mentioned load boards. What did you have to do to get the load boards going? Did, did you have to be in business for so long? Did you have to apply? I think you said uh, for the top two or three that you, had, you said you had to pay for, you know. Um, how much did you have to pay? I mean, if you want to put the money part out there. Um, and the IFTA, the 2290, the is there any special thing that you had to register your company with in order to go ahead and start pulling that freight? Are you gonna register your company with the with, with uh, FEMA and the government, trying to get government contracts? Um, when you go redo your maintenance lease, are you gonna keep uh, get the same type of truck? Or are you gonna get something lighter? Or are you gonna get something cheaper? You gonna, um, what else? Um, did you have to register your business or anything to do your own thing? As far as your CSA score goes, um, did you get the pre-pass to help you see what different things will help your CSA score out? Um, different things like that, man. All right, that's a you can do a video on each because each will be uh, something that 
somebody's gonna be looking for eventually. How to get your numbers, how to get your IFTA, how to get your 22, um, not your 2290, but your, um, how, to, how to pick out a trailer for any particular reason, like, the trailer, is it because did, do you got aluminum floors or you got wood floors? And why did you pick that, pick that particular trailer? Because I always thought that new trailers was upwards of 50 or 60,000. I'm a rookie, I don't know no better. I just be looking at the papers while I'm dropping the deuce in the pilot. And um, some of them can be kind of expensive. Did you not get a reefer trailer because of the maintenance, the weight, the extra fuel you will have to use? Um, I, I watch your live feed, I understand that you're not going to buy your own truck and I understand why. To get that full maintenance lease, what would somebody have to do that's just coming into the industry? Or would you have to be doing your own thing for X amount of time uh, and build up your business credit in order to go get a full maintenance lease? Did you have to put money down? Uh, I think you already did something on the full maintenance lease. I would have to go back in your catalog and check. Uh, what else? Uh, as far as taxes go, you mentioned that you're going to do uh, the escort because you get better taxes on that. Um, you mentioned the taxes on the truck don't depreciate after you know the time that you have the truck and like owning your own truck which is pretty cool and, and you're definitely somebody I would listen to and I would follow so I would definitely like to know you know once I do my own thing make some money you go put money down on a full maintenance lease or how would that work because uh, the full maintenance leasing, like, is less, you have less to worry about, about coming out the pocket. And you're right about having a newer truck. I mean, you know, yeah, okay, little guy had his issue with a brand new truck. But I think that's kind of rare to have issues like that with a brand new truck. But to switch out a truck every three years to where you get the newest truck with the best fuel mileage and so on and so forth. And I think you're absolutely right about what you mentioned in your live feed about older truck versus newer truck. The older truck looks good might only be getting five you know five miles to the gallon when a newer truck get eight might not be as pretty but you said that was about a thirty thousand dollar savings at the end of the year and that's something that I, I you know that as a business owner that I'll be, I will have to look at is don't look at the right now savings look at the end of the year savings what will it cost me at the end of the year to do whatever it is that I'm trying to do um, you, you mentioned the software that you would use for your taxes um, Definitely, I think you said a friend of yours made it or somebody that you support made made that software where you can input all your numbers at the end of the day. Uh, if, if you can go ahead and throw that back out there. Or I just go back to your catalog and look at that. But um, to be honest with you, man, you made it seem as easy as possible. Like, hey, I was at Snyder. Now I'm on a rock. You know, then you showed you your truck with the name and numbers on it. I was like, ooh, fancy. <laughs> you know but um yeah man if you can shoot if you can make a video about about either each one of those or all of them at once or you know it'll be good it'll be greatly appreciated it'll be greatly now i know that the fees and different things might be different because i'm in california and somebody might be in a different state where the, the fees might be different but if you can do like a roughly around like i don't need to know how much money you're making doing your own thing. I don't need to know that. I'll figure that out on my own. It's just getting to doing my own thing. Now, I know I, I should do my research. And yeah, I'm going to do my research. It's just I would definitely like a direction to be pointed in uh, with all the research uh, that I'm going to be doing here in the next two months. Alright. Congratulations. Shout out to you. What's funny is everybody's caught up, like you said, in the lease owner op terminology but yet you got a truck with your own dot numbers that you're leasing <laughs> so what do y'all call him because to me he's on op he booking his own loads and doing his own thing i call that an own op we, to me when you have your own dot number on the side of the truck that you're driving and you have your name <coughs> on the side of the truck that you're driving whether you're leasing it or not that's yours you are on op but then again, I'm wrong. Hey, 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 hey. I'm a rookie. So shout out to Jeffrey L for making that move. Uh, that's de that's definitely what I like to see is people progress in their career, you know? And um, that's what I'm trying to do, baby. Baby. 
that's what I'm trying to do. Um, also, how I mean, do you notice the time difference? Because now you, everything's got to be live load and unload. Is that another reason why you picked dry instead of reefer? Because with reefer, you will have to get live unload, and it can take hours to get live unload as a reefer driver compared to a dry van. Are you looking to get multiple trailers and direct shippers? That's one thing I was thinking about is get multiple trailers, have one truck get multiple trailers. And if I have, let's say, dedicated route with Hershey's, I got a contract with Hershey's, I leave one at spot A, I leave another trailer, trailer at spot B, and I have a trailer myself. So every time, you know, I'm just running that same route back and forth, paying, you know, hopefully it's lucrative, of course, but I'm just saying as an example. Jeffrey Light! Let me know, man. Y'all know who Jeffrey Like is, man. It's somebody I really respect uh, on YouTube. And uh, y'all definitely check him out. Definitely check him out. All right? Get all that knowledge. Get out. And yes, Jeffrey, you deserve to have sponsors, son. He was like, yeah, I can go to the truck show and get sponsors. And he started laughing. Look, you and I, all right, this is what, what we're going to do. All right? This is what we're going to do. You and I are gonna get sponsors for road game. Hey, there it is, there it is. You know what I'm saying? We gonna be on, we gonna be on the uh, 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 TV commercials running our fingers through our hair as we come out the pool. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Anyway, it's TRB as always. Thank any one of y'all that came through. Thank you for stopping by. Peace.